Hey everyone, this is Sarah from saradesign.com and in our last video I showed you how to get your designs out of Silhouette and into Photoshop by way of Illustrator as a middle step. But what if you don't have Illustrator and you want to just use Photoshop for all of this? Well you can. It doesn't look quite as smooth as Illustrator does, but it's, it's doable for a lot of situations. So let's get started. Going over to Silhouette. I already created this earlier, so this was my design. I typed out the word welcome, I welded it together, I made sure the fill was black and that the stroke was black, just like in our last video. And I made it really big on the screen. And then we're going to take a screenshot, which is Command Shift 4. And it takes a little picture and saves it to my desktop as a PNG file. And in here, we will go ahead and open up the file that we just saved to our desktop. File, open, navigate to desktop, grab screenshot, hit open, and we're in. Next step here is, if we were in Illustrator, we could do that tracing function. Since we're in Photoshop, what we need to do is we need to select. And there's a handy tool here called Color Range. If you select Color Range, it gives you a little eyedropper your little icon looks like. You can go in and click right on the black. Leave this as selection, that's fine, and hit OK. And now it has selected the word welcome. If we hit edit, copy, edit, paste, it puts itself on a new layer up here. You can turn off the old layer. If you want to see what the details of that really look like, go ahead and make yourself another layer below and fill it with some bright color, like red. We'll say Edit, Fill, pick foreground color, because this is your foreground, red, and the background is white, and I hit OK. So it looks all right. If you really zoom in, it's pretty bumpy around the edges, but I think it is good enough for our purposes. So in our next video, I'll show you the next steps of opening up our flower.psd and creating the stage for where our new welcome is going to go. So I'll be showing you how to make the smart object for this area. I'll see you there.